and I just do not know why all the panic is about the roads are blocked with cars there's people around and all the drivers most of the drivers in the cars are in a bad mood they're cutting across in front of me and then they're blaming me and this is this is just it's just crazy and uh, what do you call it? it's the same every Christmas I just I do, this is why I do not like this time of the year. It's just everybody's in a panic and they just, they're being crap to each other, like. Um, I have a headache going through town here. It's just, why is it that everybody, even when you go into shops, it's it just, you know, the shopping trolley just, drive over you and people stand in your way and you say excuse me and they pretend they don't hear you and all that kind of stuff this is crazy and I have to drive through all that again I've been stuck in traffic for the last 15 minutes and then this car pulled in on front of me on the roundabout and then he started swearing at me. Well, I didn't hear him, but I could see his head shaking and stuff. So he probably called me a few unmentionable names. But he actually, he actually cut in and cr across in front of me. Well, uh, this is what I'm at. Um, when I get back to the house, hopefully I'll upload another video. But uh, I just this is a couple of days before Christmas and. People's attitudes are not very good. Do you know, they're, it, it becomes very selfish. People are panicking to get last minute shopping and stuff like that. The shops will be opened again, folks. It's not, do you know, it's not that, um, what do you call it, the uh, shops are never going to open again. Um, they will open again. I mean, like, the world is not coming to an end, folks. But uh, that's my rant over because, or because, uh, I have to uh, do a few things, but I will see you in the next video, and um, as always, be good to each other, and I wish people would be good to each other to, uh, on the streets today. Um, it doesn't look like they are, but we'll see. Tomorrow, hopefully, I will have a stress-free day, and um, we will not have to worry about it. Um, Rushing around like everybody else, and um, if you've seen my, if you haven't seen my video from yesterday, uh, go back and have a look. Um, I was ranting about uh, people uh, going around at the last minute to buy presents and um, being not very nice to other people as they're going about their uh, last minute shopping. The way I see it, you know, you buy a gift for somebody with love. Um, it kind of cancels it out if you are going about to get that gift and being shit to everybody else. Did I just say that on camera? I'm allowed to say that. Well, you know what, you know what I mean? Um, The present, if you are going around stressing and 
not be nice to other people and driving across in front of people while you're going to get your gifts. Um, that's not a very nice way to get gifts. You know, I know we give gifts in love um, because we love people and we buy them gifts. But if we have to be crap to other people to get it, that's not very nice, you know? I'm kind of lucky today the traffic isn't too bad. It's crap going the other way. Right, we have a supermarket here somewhere. Let's hope it's not packed. Um, but I hope everybody has a, a nice, peaceful Christmas. I'm having a quiet one again as usual. I will have a friend over. Um, so there will be company in the house. Will I get parked? And there's a small car taking up two spaces. I was out getting wood one day, I came out the side door here and it was really quiet and you can normally hear and see people coming up uh. and um, I came walking through, just liggered down my wood and there was a guy with a top hat standing at the fireplace and I went, I went, ah, and I dropped on my wood oh, and he goes, sorry, sorry, I came in the side door trying on the hat. <laughs> I thought you were a ghost. Gee. No, not, not a ghost story. It's a funny one nonetheless. Uh, before folks, I'm not used to uh, doing this daily vlogging stuff. Um, I normally go to locations and stuff. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, uh, was it a good idea or am I just talking a load of crap? A couple of days ago, and you've probably seen the video, um, I went to uh, Downhill and Lion's Gate and all that. and. Um, before I went, um, I went and had a, a breakfast uh, in a cafe and that, and I was in a shopping centre. And I said to myself, sure, I might as well uh, pick up a, a a large SD card, you know, with good uh, with good with good storage space in it, because a lot of a lot of my I haven't got enough SD cards for my cameras and that. So I says, um, you know, having another one. Um, with larger capacity would be handy and sometimes they are available in pharmacies you know so I go into the pharmacy anyway um, I thought it was being stitched up or what do you call it uh, I went into the pharmacy anyway and I asked the lady behind the counter I said uh, um, excuse me do you uh, supply um, SD cards and the lady looked at me uh, with confusion you know and I was about to explain because she did look confused and um, but before I got to explain, she told me, "Sorry, we don't have any here. Try applying them. <laughs> Try applying for one through your GP." <laughs> you know, and I, she had a straight face on her. I mean, like she was really, you know, I mean, like she wasn't winding me up, and um, she was she was trying to be helpful, and I was trying to keep a straight face on me, and um, so. Um, after I left the pharmacy, I was in having my breakfast, and I was um, crying my eyes out laughing. Um, I was crying my eyes out laughing at it like. She must have thought that uh, an SD card, an SD card was uh, was something like a medical card or something like that, you know? When she says, um, uh, apply for one through your GP, you know? You will be interested in this video. Otherwise, normal videos still go out on Saturday and Wednesday so uh, uh, there's one just gone up tonight another one out this Wednesday and there's somebody behind me hello <laughs> if you want that Folks, the uh, Irish police came in and told us to go away, so we did. What the fuck was that? Uh, 
after me saying I didn't know. You've took the life out of me. What the fuck was that that fell down? Folks, we're back at the grounds of... Uh, Back at the grounds of uh, Umbrows, take two. <laughs> Folks, we're back at the Beautiful day, folks, and I'm back at Cumber House. People ask me, as a joke, uh, no cows in this video after my video of Bally McCool House. So I just thought I would. Stick those cows in, folks. Oh, Jesus, there's a car in here. Oh my god. Oh. There's a car in there. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. This place is supposed to be haunted. It's haunted by cows. I'm heading back to the wood carving place. I'm gonna buy another one of them kittens. Uh, I'm gonna buy it for a friend of mine who uh, had a kitten and only had it a few days. And uh, between one thing and another, uh, the deal didn't go through properly, and uh, the owner ended up taking the, the kitten back. So I'm gonna buy you, you a wooden kitten. <laughs> At least it won't shit everywhere.